Hey, what's going on? Clark Bartram here. I've been involved in the health and fitness industry for over three decades now, and I've had the privilege of doing a lot of really cool things from being around NFL athletes, some of the top performing athletes in the world, to training 80 plus year old people in my driveway. One thing that I focus on is functionality and helping humans become more highly functioning because the reality at the end of the day, the reason we train is to be able to move through life without getting injured. We want to be as strong as we can for as long as we can. So I've recently been introduced to a product that will absolutely 100% help anyone from an athlete to an 80 year old do all of what I just said, become a higher functioning human. So I want to introduce you to the Smart Sled by Bodycore. Now I've used this before, but now we're out here on a field and I'm really getting the opportunity to play. So any noise you hear in the background is just real life going on because I'm out here doing real life things with the Smart Sled. That's the first thing I want to point out. With the Smart Sled, you can do more than you could with a traditional sled that you'll find in most gyms. So let me point out some of the features. First, it has a motor inside of it and the motor is what's giving the resistance. It's not friction like the traditional sleds were back in the day and it's not a lever like some of them are now. It's motorized, meaning you're going to get varying resistance based upon the user's desired need. So the first thing I'll point out is right here, the on and off switch. I simply turn the smart sled on and then I have these functions available to me that are on board the smart sled. The first one would be the resistance level. I have resistance level one being the easiest, two, which gets a little bit harder, and three is really what separates the people who really want to get after it to people who are just out here playing, which all of that is good. Then from there on board, we have this mode right here. We have normal mode, meaning I am basically going to push straight. And then here's really what separates this from anything on the market today. I go to change of direction. Now, when I go change of direction, what happens is when I'm pushing this, the wheel, because it moves independently, will change direction on me without me knowing it. What do I have to do? I need to react to that. What's that's going to make me? Stronger and more highly functioning. So this is just a top level view of the smart sled and why I love it so much. Okay, so something I want to point out here, the feature that I talked about, the change of direction mode. So here is probably the top competitor out there, which is a great sled. I have nothing against this for what it can do. But what it cannot do is what I am simply pointing out here with the smart sled. So with this, all I can do is push forward. So I am only operating in this motion right here. Life doesn't come at us this way. Life comes at us like this. We have to be, to be able to move. So let me get this out of the way because it's in the way. So I'd mentioned the resistance levels. Resistance level one, I have COD, change of direction. If I'm on resistance level one, because it's such a light resistance, I'm not gonna notice the change of direction as much as I will when I do this. I go to two. Now watch the sled. I'm pushing. See? See it? Now I'm reacting. I'm reacting to this. So I don't know which way this is going to go. So say I'm in the NFL. I don't know which way the guy's going to go. So I need to react to it. Now if I go to level three, the resistance becomes harder and the change of direction becomes more randomized. Boom. Oh. oh. So right here. So now I'm doubling the work because I'm having to respond. Now I'm adding in my brain. I'm adding in the different resistance on different parts of my body. I'm not equally distributing it on right leg, left leg because I'm going straight. I'm left leg dominant, right leg dominant, left leg dominant. Core, core's getting in because I'm having to change direction. You cannot do this on any other sled on the market. The next thing I want to talk about is having a trainer involved.
So I think everybody loves to compete if they're competing with themselves or against somebody else. So let me start at the highest level, the NFL, for example. I've been in NFL training rooms, and that's the number one thing that these men do to earn the position. They compete for it. So that being said, having real-time data, being able to see graphs and different visuals to help people look at it and say, look, I could beat that. I could do better than that. So you thought I was done talking about all the features on the smart sled, I'm not. I showed you this right here. On board, you could go from normal mode, which is basically you're pushing straight, the wheels are not interacting with you, to change of direction mode on here. So now there's Bluetooth capability. I'm gonna invite over Alex, my trainer. He's also the engineer behind the smart sled, the man who designed the technology with this. So let's talk about the technology that is the smart sled and what we can do with this. Just you as my trainer first. Right, so with the technology behind it, we went over the manual control. So that's if you're by yourself. You can use the smart technology via Bluetooth, meaning you can control the resistance on the sled mid push. So if you're a coach now and you have an athlete, as they're pushing it, you can go from very high loads to very low loads so they can reach their top end speed for, for speed work or you can go vice versa. If your athletes are going way too fast and you want to slow them down, you could instantly increase that resistance level just through Is that phone. a thing? Do they want athletes to slow down? There's deceleration work. Okay. So you could do acceleration work and deceleration work on, on both ends. Okay, so let's show that right now with me. So right. you take me through a, a, a workout on this that would be similar to if I were a speed athlete and I needed to get stronger. You got it. Okay, don't kill me now. Remember, I'm a 60-year-old guy. I don't look like one, but I play one on TV. All right, I got you. Whenever you're ready. So this is our highest resistance level. So he's going to be exerting as much force as he can get. We're going to slowly bring him down a notch. Here's level four. Here's level three. You can see he's picking up speed now. Here's level two. And level one. So as they start to fatigue, you can really decrease that resistance level so they can continue to go. So Clark, turn it around now. We're really gonna kill Clark on this one. We have our change of direction mode that Clark went through. That's a simple press of a button here. So now we just implemented change of direction. Clark is already gassed. Oh. It's gonna keep him left and right. He needs to keep it straight. Now, with this technology, the harder he pushes, the harder it's gonna jerk him left to right. So if you were to walk this, he could keep it relatively straight, but if you were to go 100%, he's gonna go 180. Yep. It doesn't take a lot to get a lot out of it. It's one thing you need to understand. It's not about doing more work. It's, down, it's about doing the work that you're doing Efficiently. Correct. And that's something you talk about all the time is you could be in the gym for two hours and be inefficient with your workouts or you could be doing something like this and get it done in 15 minutes. Or two. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so we're just going to have a little bit of fun here. We're going to go off road and prove that the Smart Sled Pro is all terrain. Another thing I want you to understand too is it's, it's relatively quiet for what is going on in this thing. So I, I found a little course that's gonna take me from grass to cement, to a hill, to dirt, to a bump, back onto grass. I'm gonna go on level one. And one thing I wanna pay attention to in my mind is if there's any difference in the resistance that I'm feeling as the person operating it from these different surfaces. Make sense? Because I know a lot of people wonder about that. So. Here we go, just follow me along. I got it on level one. I'm gonna go around this tree. Can't do this on any other sled. Okay, 
I dare, I dare anyone with any other sled to mimic anything close to that. I'm done. I'm done. Psych! <laughs> That was so much fun, absolutely. Here's the problem with most sleds. You get bored doing the same thing. Get some cones, get some bumps, get some obstacles, get some friends, and get some results. Yeah, so we're finishing up out here shooting video, and the thing that I loved about this video compared to a lot of the other videos that I will do for companies like I'm never going to do something that I don't believe in first and foremost but the fact that I just came out here and the crew was busy doing other stuff and I, I just got Spencer the cameraman and said hey let's just start shooting let's just start playing with this smart sled pro and we got most all of the content just me using this thing like I would if I were out training and that's the beauty of this is a really smart trainer or someone who doesn't even know anything is gonna be able to get benefit from this because right now as I'm walking, this thing is slightly moving side to side, just slightly. And I'm having to adjust to that. And the fact that I can maneuver this better than he can back there <laughs> and go over this grass and get to where I wanna go much faster, it just, it doesn't need a script. It doesn't need anyone to tell me what to say because I'm just reacting to what this is doing. And that is also what I'm doing when I'm using it. I'm reacting to what it's doing either by the trainer doing it through the Bluetooth connection or me hitting a button manually on the machine itself. So I really do love this, man. I, I feel so blessed and so fortunate to do what I do, like to hang out with super cool people, try really cool products. And I'm proud to say that I'm, I'm involved with the Smart Sled Pro as one of the early adopters of this thing. And my goal in all of this is to get to the NFL, get to the NBA, get anywhere where trainers are trying to get their athletes stronger, more efficient, back onto the field quicker, all that sort of stuff. Poor guy. <laughs> it's been a blast.